Dear students and parents, this video will help you to understand that how can we access AI labs at different time points. The video is divided into six parts. So let's get started. First of all, as soon as we open ailabs.clever.com, we land up to the login page. Every student will be having their own username and password. The credentials is received by the team. As soon as you receive the credential, you can try out the user and name and password given and then click on sign in. And that was the first step that how students can log in. For that, as soon as we log into AI Labs, we land into this courses page. On the left hand side, we can see live classes. We need to click on the drop down and we can see join class. As soon as we click on join class, we can have the class time, date, the mentor name, the course name, everything mentioned. You can click on join here to join the class. As soon as we click on button, we will be landing up to another tab, which will redirect us to the classroom. Once the classroom is loaded, we can see that here we need to tell that which option do we want to choose in order to join the audio. Please make sure you click on microphone because if you click on listen only, you can just listen to the mentor, but you cannot talk to them. Hence, always click on microphone. As soon as you click on it, in case the pop-up comes up, click on allow. And then, and then they'll, they'll give us a private, private echo, echo test. test. If you're, you're able, able to, to hear, hear yourself, yourself, you can you just can click just on yes. On you are currently the only person in this conference. Once we enter in the classroom, we can have the mute unmute option, leaving the audio and joining back the option. In case we have joined with microphone, we can click on leave audio, click on join audio, and then use the microphone option. And then thirdly, we have the webcam option. Now, once your teacher has given you the screen share option, you can click on that. If you want to share your screen, there are three things that you can do. You can either just share a Chrome tab or click an entire window or share your entire screen. It's always recommended to either share the application window you're working on or your entire screen because it may happen that you are working on multiple tabs and in order to avoid the hustle of stopping the screen share and sharing again the tab, just try doing these two. As soon as you'll click on, like select your option, you can just click on the small screen you can see inside the window and click on share. Once you click on it, the teacher will be able to see your screen and help you out to resolve your problems. Once you're done with the class, you can click on the top right corner here and then click on leave meeting. As you all know that every lecture at Clevewood is recorded and when a student misses a class or wants to revise that what they learned in the previous lesson or the entire level, they can just come to live classes again and click on recordings. On whatever date, at whatever time you want to see the lesson, all the recordings will be listed here. You will see a down arrow that you can click on and start the recording as you'll get the option. For that, we need to go to courses. Let's say a child is studying AI intermediate level 
and today the child has learned chapter 3 in the class. The student can come to that particular chapter again by clicking on continue. Scroll down. And once they reach the end of the lesson, right after the quiz, whatever section we have is the homework section. They can just click on the corresponding topic and write the code of homework. In case a student is at a younger level, that is studying block phase. The pattern continues that they need to click on the chapter that they have covered today. For example, a student has learned chapter 2 that is loops in the class. They can click on continue and they can find the homework section. Please make a note, every topic at Cleverd, every course at Cleverd has a homework activity succeeding or preceding the quiz section. Right after the class, they can always come back to the chapter they have discussed with the teacher today and then they can find the homework section and try it out. For that, let's just go to courses. On the top right, you can see a person icon. Click on it. Click on my profile. And then on the top right, you can click on edit. Over here, a student can upload his or her photo. By clicking on the upload option, a pop-up will come up which they can use to upload. They can write a description about themselves. For example, I'm writing, I am a jovial child. Or anything, whatever they feel like is the best to describe them. They can write their school name, select the grade they are in. They can select their date of birth. The country comes automatically. They can select the city. The parents can give their Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram handle so that it can help us out to feature the child if they are making some extraordinary project. And then separated with comma, they can write their hobbies like I'm writing dancing or comma singing or anything. And once they are done, they can click on save details. Why are we asking these details? Because if we click on the same person icon again and click on view public profile, you can see you will get a unique link which you can showcase to the school, to the friends, to the family, whoever they want. Based on whatever courses the child is doing, all the topics, all the projects, everything will be mentioned by default. All the details of the students which they are giving will be mentioned. And then what are the skills achieved, level completed, everything will be showcased. Hence, it's really important to update the profile page. Coming to the last section. For that, we can go to the chapter that we have learned today. For example, a student has learned chapter one, that is sequence. They can click on continue. And then before every slide or every activity, we have the video in the starting. If you click on the video, these videos are short, like not more than two minutes or one and a half. And the videos are based on graphics like this. Sequence means doing something step by step or in a particular order. It is important in both day to day life. And Clever has made these videos so that the student can get the interest, visualize, get the concept that how easy it is to learn anything and where can they apply this thing in their day-to-day -day life. These videos help them a lot to either get an idea of a topic beforehand, what they're going to learn, or if they're revising any lesson and they forgot that what teacher explained regarding this topic, they can play this video at home and then try out the activities which they were supposed to do.
So these were the six parts that we covered in the video. Thank you so much for your patience and enjoy your journey with Clever.